right, man. Now, let me take y'all in. I'm going to take y'all in on some shit, right? This some real life shit, right? So, I'm going to tell you what, yo. Like, niggas, like, I, I, I show y'all, you know, niggas, nigga got me, you know. Nigga got me good, right? 150 stitches, 60 staples, you know. That's, you know, it's all good, though, Larry. Larry Mason, it's all good, right? You know what I'm saying, right? Nigga wasn't, wasn't trying to throw them hands because I beat them up like eight times. I beat them up one day. I had on motherfucking slippers and beat the shit out this nigga, yo. Like, that shit was funny as a bitch. Yo, he got me, though. I, I give him that, right? But you know a nigga scared when he chopped you with the hawk and jumped straight in the police car with the bitch. <laughs> Yeah, then he got a box cutter, you know. He got me right. Couldn't fight. Ask him go behind, go behind O'Brien's to the fucking parking garage. All my niggas in that town know what that's about. He, it, it was on. He was ready to get it in, but yo was scared. He caught me. He caught me real bad, you know. Um, it wasn't nothing. So, so. One day we down down in the Dina and shit, me and my boobie, we riding past Royal Farms, right? And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, because I know, I know if I told her what was up, she wasn't even pulled in there and shit. So I'm like, yeah, go, go over in Royal Farms. Go over in Royal Farms real quick. So we go ahead. She pulls in there. I jumps out, grabs my hawk whip my hawk out start creeping up to the van he on the side larry on the side of the van pumping gas almost had this thing i get pulls up almost get him he looks yo with the most scared direct look that you could see ever that death was knocking on his front fucking door right so he starts running. He runs. He runs from him. first. Oh no! He's like, he's like, oh, you gonna, you gonna stab me? You motherfucking right! I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna take your motherfucking life, nigga. So he starts running. So I say it's about a good twenty foot jump from the parking lot curb to the fucking street to Fort Smallwood Road, and he cleared that bitch like Mario on fucking Mario Brothers and jumped straight over this big-ass ravine gap and into the street. So I'm chasing them back and forth up and down Fort Smallwood Road. Ain't no cars. He's running scared to death. So all of a sudden the car comes and tell me why this nigga wants to start coming toward me like he actually wants to do something then. Be fucking for real. Be for real. Nigga, you had the opportunity. I am going to put it down on the line that if anybody anybody sees this motherfucking vlog and you talk or see Larry Mason around, you tell him, yo, that I am ready to throw down these motherfucking hands at any given time he's ready to go. And I will put a stack on it that I will smash this nigga anywhere any fucking where, and anybody got a problem with that, I will smack you too, so, look, let me tell you niggas, let them know what's up, yo, tell them that fake ass shit, nigga running back and forth from me, yo, and then gonna try, act like he want to go, wants the wants a car coming and shit, yo, that's some fake ass shit, nigga, be a G, just like when I motherfucking was chasing his ass in my car up and down motherfucking Richie Highway 
and all of a sudden he gonna pull over and start digging in his trunk like he looking for something. Nigga, I'm trying to beat your brains in. All that, you know, all that other shit's irrelevant. I was going to kill you at Royal Farm. Now I just want to beat your motherfucking brains in. But if you want to go the other way, we can go that way too. Because I do that, you know what I mean? I, I get down, nigga. You better check my resume. I tote that motherfucking yaka, boy. So... That shit was crazy, though. I wish to God y'all could see how this nigga was running around, and then all of a sudden he turned straight gangster when cars start coming. You are officially marked as a motherfucking lame, nigga. You are a lame. And anybody knows, you know. Nigga, everybody that done been around knows how many times I whooped your ass. You can ask Nick Blackman. You can ask motherfucking Bo. All of them how that day up Subway, you was fucking with my man Nick. And I had put these motherfucking mip mop dick beaters on you and beat your motherfucker. If it wasn't for Bo saving you, I would have probably killed you up there. Fucking with my nigga Nick, man. I love you, Nick. Yo, shout out to my man Nick Blackman out there in Cali doing this thing, taking care of his baby girl. That's some real G shit, because that's what we do. You know what I mean? Much love, yo. R.I.P. to all my niggas out here in the hood, especially, man. I ain't spoke on it, but my man Tico. Tico Smith, yo, I love you, yo, R.I.P., yo, I ain't heard, you know, heard from your family, yo, I miss all y'all, them niggas, yo, I miss you a lot, yo, you was my nigga, man, oh, yeah, and also, let me put out there, my brother-in-law, Sean, man, R.I.P., yo, I love you, my nigga, yo, you know, we ain't got much time around with each other, but the times we had was some real shit, yo, and, you know, from a, a, a brother that suffers from mental health issues, just as you do, yo, I understand you, and, and, and I'm going to see you, yo, and you do the right thing up there in heaven, yo, and look down on your sweet daughter and take care of her every day and keep her guided in this world, Joe. Everybody out there, all my... All my murder land niggas, yo. All my vice lords, y'all already know, yo. Till the death, all my blood niggas, y'all know what's up, yo. Front line running right here. I'ma holla at y'all on the flip side. Five love and remember, yo. If somebody ain't tell you, I'ma tell you today. I love y'all, man. And happy New Year's coming up. And just do what y'all got to do, man. Take care of y'all seeds, man, because seeds are our future, and that's what's going to continue to keep us growing in this world, Joe. So remember, yo, sometimes, yo, we get the beef and we got to do what we got to do. People fail to realize that that's the life we live, and we always have lived all of those years that have changed your life to do all the things that's what's up yo just like me you know not on wood i've been out of jail almost five years now it's the longest run i've had in my life yo and i give bigger praise to my motherfucking booby over here do her thing you know i ain't putting her in the films because we are a little understanding because you know things i do is what i do so you know, um, just remember, yo, you know, um, keep y'all heads up, stay safe, kids, stay in school, yo, because education is where it's at, yo, I might be ha hood, ghetto, all that crazy shit, but I'm going to tell you like this, I got a very high IQ, I like to stay focus and studying and reading and knowing what is going on in this world, Joe. So just because you hood and all that don't mean you can't be educated because that's the most dangerous motherfucker in this world is a nigga who's street smart and 
book smart. So stay educated and we can take this motherfucking world over. Alright, love all y'all. Fire love.